What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to notch out or cut the little area for your hinges on your doors. It's very easy and straightforward, perfect finish every single time. Let's get straight into it, let's do this. Alright guys, so I've got one installed on this side here, perfect little finish, nice and flush. We're going to install one on this side of the door as well, so I thought I'd show you guys just how easy it is to do. So once you've got the location for where your hinge needs to be installed, what I always do is lay it on flat onto the door, position it perfectly the way that I want it to sit once we're done. Then I'll take a screw and I'll simply mark out those center holes. Once I've got one marked up, I'll install my hinge. So now that we've got the hinge installed, what I do is I take a utility knife. I'll show you guys everything will make sense in a couple of minutes. Um, so what I do is I take a utility knife and I'm just going to simply score around the edge. So I've got my location for my hinge, trace all the way around that hinge. Once I've got that area traced using the utility blade, remove the hinge, put that on the side. So now what I do is I take a router, you don't have to buy an expensive one, this one here I've had for probably about 3-4 years now and it's still working strong. So what I do at this point is I'll take the hinge, lay it flat on the base and just make sure that I've got the right depth there, so we're going to cut exactly the depth for that hinge. So now I'm going to start the router and I'm just going to trace around the edges, trying to get as close as possible but making sure not to go over the line. Um, so at this point here, the only thing you need to keep in mind is just to keep it as flat as possible. So I'll get it started now, make a bit of noise, see if you guys can get a good view. So once we've got that section there out, you can see it's just so much easier, faster and more precise with a clean finish. You can chisel it out, however this way is much, much more effective. Take your utility blade once again. If you like, you can go over your area until you've got the right depth. And you can see most of that has actually been removed on this side here. So we'll just run the blade nice and flat down the bottom, remove any of that excess material. You can use a chisel if you like at this point, but the utility blade works just fine, especially if it's nice and sharp. Once again, run it down the base, remove that excess material. Now we've got a perfect little cutout. So if you have a look at this point here, we've got a perfect finish. What I like about this is the nice little reveal that we have here. Anytime you use a um, chisel and a hammer, this is probably the most um, crucial part right here so that you don't damage your face because this section here is actually exposed even once you install the hinges. But at this point here, we've got a nice perfect finish. So we can now take our hinge, make sure that everything fits the way that it should. 
and that's how you do it guys so we've got a perfect finish right there and that's exactly what I'm after and once that's done guys we've got another perfect hinge installed ready to go perfect flush exactly what you're after nice professional finish in just a couple of minutes so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video you've learned something new as always guys like comment and subscribe until next time I'm Bill thanks for watching Bill's out too